Well, it's Saturday morning, um, because we enjoyed it so much at Stucumba yesterday, we're going to go back there fairly early in the morning. Do we go down this one? No. To see if we can film the... Like, go to Halsey Manor. Oh. You know, it's that wooden shed by the side of the road yeah. on, the, on the left. Well, these people in front of us are going to see But we've got a couple of tractors and trailers ahead of us. Impossible to pass by on these roads. So we wonder if we'll get there in time. Time will tell. Was it about 10 to 8, isn't it? No? 10 to 9? One or two other people are here already. Nicely lit from this side for a change because it was all lit from the other side yesterday. Anyway, good train, possibly within 10 minutes. Oh, is there nobody in the shop yet? Probably <laughs> not. But they open to nine or maybe nine thirty. Oh no, because we're here that early. <laughs> All right. Oh, sun, I didn't expect that. I thought... You're in the warm waiting room over there. No. Where's the sun? No, that way. Nine, nine it's probably this side would be better for probably nine lighting. or nine thirty maybe. You want it quiet, you've got it quiet. Certainly have. <laughs> the gentleman here has just put on his uh, orange oh, jacket so he's got permission to walk the line. <laughs> After all the crowds of people here yesterday, it's funny to see it completely empty apart from us. <laughs> Still showing the same timetable as yesterday, which it might try and follow anyway. Not a soul in this garden, which was uh, quite busy. Good chance to have a look around anyway. Oh, I didn't notice those fruits on that tree, whatever they are. I wouldn't call them fruits, they're strange looking things. I expect somebody watching could tell us what they are. Just the sound of the birds. <laughs> what a pleasant place to be. It's on the cool side this morning, but not as cold as yesterday was. And the sky is certainly brighter yesterday. We should hear the train coming quite clearly, I should think, because there's no other noise apart from the natural sounds. Hmm. Wouldn't be a bad idea to film it from this location. Yeah, I think I will. Well, there was a bell ringing then on the building. Don't think it was a telephone. Possibly indicating that the train's got somewhere. But it's still a bit early for it to have got here, anywhere near here. Yeah, there's a rock here with various plaques on it. I see photographers' names and uh, someone who misses this spot and. Uh, <laughs> Lifetime friend of West Somerset Railway. Hmm. Little memorial corner. Yeah, some more enthusiasts turning up now. 
Oh, including a helper, moving cones a bit. The pheasant calling in the nearby field. Just thinking how people change over the years. I mean, when this was built, they brought, they could bring their cows here and they were carried away to market on a train. All that, of course, has ceased. No more goods trains from here. It used to be a siding and a shed, I believe. Besides the cattle dock, the remains of which you can still see. It must be about five years ago. We used to come here quite a lot. And in those days, um, the lady who ran this with her daughter, they took over from the original pair that were here for years. One chap in a, who was an ex-signalman in a wheelchair and his wife, he died. She took over, bit of a sharp tongue she had for photographers. But the people we know, whose name I've completely forgotten, she ran it with her daughter, that was very nice. And then he had a, a coal fire installed in the building to make it more cosy. And then I think someone called Claire took it on. And she's gone. I don't currently know who's running this station. There were a few faces I re remember and recognise, but not their names. That's me getting older as well, I, I guess. Yeah, another person with a safety vest on walking the line. I know last year there was some talk of them catching all line side passes, but. Uh, I heard yesterday that we seen that and you can still get a alongside pass. People stocking up the shop. Probably taking Val's order of a cup of coffee and a pasty. <laughs> I don't know if they'll be ready for a while. Well, it must be due in about five minutes now, I think. It's surprisingly cold just stood here though. But no wild wind blowing as there was at Watchet yesterday morning, this time. Well, there's plenty of action in the sky up here. Look at the vapor trails crisscrossing the sky. Well, it's five past nine. I would have thought the train would have been here by now, but uh, still waiting. Oh, wait a minute. Do I hear anything? No, that photographer down there is a clue. If he leaps forward to his tripod, he must hear the train. <laughs> anyway, we've um, well, shed it across. We just had a text from Clive, our friend, who's coming down from Kent to see the railway. He's got to blow anchor for a hearty breakfast. <laughs> well, I believe they came down yesterday afternoon and stayed locally. Oh, is that the sound of the train in the distance? I don't think so. No, not yet. Right, we just heard a whistle echoing down the valley. Not very close, but it's obviously on its way. There goes a bell. Train at speed, now that's the first for my video. That's a 
a lovely sight to see, isn't it? Really makes makes you feel warmer, even if you're not quite yet. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what it takes for all the ghosts. We need a trip. It's certainly not the same as our timetable we've purchased. Do you want coffee or tea with your bacon roll? Um, what are you having? Right, coffee, probably. Yeah. I'll, I'll join you the same. Have you? Yes. Oh, well, thanks for luck with that then. The place that we used to go to together, Marion, which is now Peterborough. Um, so, and um, the other place that we used to come along was uh, Great Migrations to the uh, Wheel House, you know. Um, so that was cool, and we couldn't get in there. Couldn't even get in the Brewery's Pair. You don't realize I didn't that. know anything about that. <laughs> I think the owner might be. Everybody knows he was the admiral. Well, was the and he'll move into the garage. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be on telly tonight, Barney. Well, that's quite likely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be alright, wouldn't it, Barney? You don't want to do all this travelling about all the time, do you? No, of course you don't. Sitting here at Tim Camp. 
Is he alright in the car? No, in Cambridge, isn't it? Yeah, well, I come down on the train. I used to work on the railway something. Did you? Yeah, we always come down yeah. the train, yeah. Why, why would I He's pay? Quite used to that, why would I pay to put fuel in the car when I can come for free? <laughs> <laughs> on the train, yeah. You involved with the? Uh, yeah, I used to work. I did twenty years in the railway. Oh, he's a lovely dog, isn't he? He's a fine-looking dog, isn't he? Yeah. He's tall. He's oh, let's take a picture of your Barney. Let's well, I was going to do it as well. Oh, Barney, you're lovely. Hmm. That's the sort of dog you want to adopt, isn't it? Well, you're a lyricist, isn't he? Look at him, Barney. Look at that, then. Got a good shot? Yeah. <laughs> Can't see in the daylight, can we? Look at that. Pretty good, I bet. You pose for me, look at that. Countryside, uh... Sounds their horses going by. Well, I think they've got some rather unusual animals down in there because I heard some calls which I didn't recognise at all earlier. What they could be. Yeah, that bell's very helpful, isn't it, really? You've been amazed how many people. I once had a lady turn around to me to say, looking over, and the train was approaching, and she said, which side's the, uh, do we get on the train? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. I used to be uh, on the uh, platform at Watch It, and uh, people say, which side do we, which platform do we get oh, on to go back, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. Oh, you used to have a brilliant guy. I never knew his name. When I was guarding, yeah. you know, you couldn't easily, you couldn't cope with both ends. So, um, inevitably, I was towards the Bishop's Lydiard end, because uh, uh -huh. that's where they put the brake van mostly. Uh, you had a guy right down near the buildings mm -hmm. who was terrific, and I knew I could rely on him. Right. Um, I haven't seen him for years. People do change, don't they? It, it, but it does make a difference when yeah. you know somebody... You can rely on, yeah. Offered. Same thing, you knew you could rely. Yeah, that's right. Well, there's a gentleman over there got a camera on top of a high pole. That's an unusual angle. <laughs> anyway, here's the train. It's good to have a powerful voice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Steve is way down there. I was running to try and get him on camera. <laughs>
he was r running down towards the guard, Steve, our friend, uh, just to video him, since he's now taken up some videoing work. <laughs> Steve was more concerned that she just wanted to hug him and have a chat. <laughs> no, it wasn't that, was it? <laughs> <laughs> He's not used to my videoing ways now. No, that's we right. had to chat yesterday. Yeah. I knew he couldn't stop. I knew he was a guard and he had to <laughs> just wanted to the videoing while we're in his yeah. green flag. You were quite frightened him by running towards him, I think. <laughs> probably, yeah. He probably thought, oh no. Not her again. My friend wants to take many hours to produce that just to display some flowers. <laughs> Just having another look at this excellent model railway in here on the station. Apparently only arrived here in nine, this year, 2018, as well as what the plaque says. based on this station, but uh, exaggerated somewhat. <laughs> Very nicely modelled. <laughs> I'm not sure how often they, they send the weed killer train down the railway, but I think it's due. Look at all the stuff going in between the tracks here. When I was a volunteer at Willison, we had to uh, regularly walk along the track and pull those weeds out. Back breaking work now. The established plants down there. Something different. One uh, railway centre they could uh, plant flowers in between the rails and have this little carpet of say Antwerp Islands that the train passes over. Never seen that done, it certainly could work. Yeah, some flowers on that little plant, purple ones. Someone must be sitting in their garden, I reckon, with a fairly loud radio on. And above the radio, you can hear the natural bird songs still in the trees. But there was a period not all that long ago when you couldn't hear a single bird sing. And I asked uh, why the birds gone quiet, and apparently I'm told there are sometimes there are sparrow hawks around here looking for a lunch. And when they're detected, the other birds shut up and become very quiet, so it's not to be detected. Put a fly resting there was in amongst the ballast.
must be ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. We expect to see people on railway stations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are different clouds in the sky there. flowers growing between the tracks. Look what we got here. Yeah. Look, there's a clump of them there. Yeah. They look nice and two there. Yeah, are you tempted right to... Back. Where are they? Can I go down and get them? No. Why not? It's naughty. It's wasteful if you don't <laughs> leave them there. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a few in that group. Look, some of them are still green. That's really I bet not many people will notice that. No, they're not. They'd be stood here looking at the trees. They wouldn't look down there and see. No. Look at the clump. Look. Let's get the sunlight on them there. But it's a yeah. good And the shelter from the stuff underneath. With more to come, look. Yeah. Look at that. There's one, two bright ones. Three, four, five, four, five. You must tell them in the shop and they can serve them with their pasties and their, and their bacon sad. rolls. I can bring them over a bit of lettuce, yeah. Yeah, it'd be a nice little crop there. Look at that. Just as a reference point, look, it's by the gradient board. Very close to that. And more flowers. Oh, I was singing very sweetly just now. Here we go again. Oh, another one too there. Huh. Got, got some water matters down here too. Well, well, well. They could certainly have a feature of the station that grows its own tomatoes in between the tracks. Of course it gets regularly watered. Good fertilizer, no doubt. Whistles in the distance. This should be Braunton, I think. Or Lord Dowding in its present guise.
Seems a plan. <laughs> Right round the corner. Got to film. I can't zoom in on it, but there's the buzzard up there being mobbed by a crow. Huh? Yeah, it's into the sun as well. <laughs> Location of the tomato. Yeah, look quite healthy. Yeah, they do, don't they? There's another batch a little bit further away from you, but not so many. Along with all the other vegetation, hopefully it will get sorted. <laughs> yeah, I'm more flowers. Just as I like to stay here yeah, much longer, other half is urging us to depart. So um, this next train should be an on stop. That should be interesting to film. Then we must be on our way. Be portrait ready to film it from that side. to Gumbo, you can come here and see fast through classic trains. Well worth a visit. So until the next time, farewell to Gumbo.